Well, all right, everybody. We are back here in the keep. Just left. Well, didn't leave. Uh, but just outside the Iron Maiden. We are going to go ahead and fight some bad guys in the boss rush thingy. Get all these sigils out of the inventory. With our fancy schmancy new equipment, with our new stats. Time to beat 1.55 seconds. Not gonna do it. 0.9 seconds too slow jumping off the gate. You see what a few points of strength strength can do, right? That's pretty good. Now this one. Dragon. Just in case we get a crash. Ah, no. Damn it! Could have had it under a second. But no, I screwed up. Fast again! Screw you! Two seconds. Game, if you say so. What's next? Risk drop. The anemone sigil, huh? What do we got in here? It's another Dagron. Coming to get you, Dagron. See, I can chain you just fine. Why couldn't I chain the other one? Jerk. Quick save. Risk down. You want to be this way. Moving on. Dagron part three. <coughs> it would be quicker if I, um, you know, put an affinity on my weapon. I'm not really interested in the time trial aspect of this. Just showing it off for the let's play. That's what we do. Mostly. There's some stuff, like special attacks, that just don't get shown off sometimes, because the bosses never do them. Quick heal and risk drop. Move on. What do we have in this door? Is it the golem? It's the golem. 
the Damascus Golem at that. We will buff for this one. <laughs> you know, I swear to God, I was about to say out loud. We have not missed casting a spell on ourselves for quite a while. And then I thought, if I say that out loud, it will happen. Shouldn't have even thought it. One way to make these go a little smoother, um, get some weapons that you can just build up phantom pain on and just come in and unload it. Alright, damn it. Just die in a fire. I know you're made of rock. Do it anyway. My risk is very high. It's very, very high. Almost maxed out. It's gonna max out. It didn't max out yet. I was hoping to get that first hit in. There we go. Did it in under five. I mean, barely, but still. Under five is under five. I don't care who you are. Um, I don't think we'll need to heal. We might get all of our condition back just waiting. Who's in here? We haven't fought a crab yet. Is it a crab? It's the Damascus crab. Oh no! It's a crab from... Turkey? Right? That's where that originated. Ottoman Empire at least. Break guards do you have for the axe? That did the job. Let's try Killer Mantis, which saps MP, but also says it does HP damage, so I don't know. All right, glacial gale. We got enough health. I'm not worried. Oh no, it's mist. And finally, mistral edge, which we may have seen once before. No, not enough, huh? 
That did it. Had that other one hit, it would have worked. Just under four. Alright, now we will heal. Here's the problem. Healing not in battle mode, our intelligence is lower. Healing in battle mode, there's a chance we'll miss. Now we want to go this way. Two more. Yes. Now I'm going to save. Because I think one of these is um, Ashura again. Yeah, I think the one behind us is Ashura, and I don't want to do the Ashura fight over. Not on screen, anyway. you have to show up. I didn't want to fight you first. That was way fast. Too bad, too. That would have done quite a bit of damage back to old death. Really? Shield? That's how it's gonna be, huh? We didn't have this problem last time, Ogre. dead. That's dead. Game over. Well, that's alright. That's alright. Uh, yeah. Ashura is behind the other door. I don't want to do the Ashura fight again because it's I don't like it. It's not fun. It takes so long. Um, so that's it, man. There are some hidden spells we can get uh, from fighting certain things. Uh, the Harpy drops Banish. Ghosts will drop Vulcan Lance. Zombie Mage will drop Lightning Bolt. Dark Eyes will drop Aqua Blasts. Ghosts will drop Fireball. Wraiths and Dark Eyes can drop uh, Dark Chant. Ghosts and Wraiths will do Spirit Surge. Ghosts and Wraiths will do Solid Shock. Liches will do Radial Surge. Water Elementals will do Avalanche. Air will do Thunder Burst. Fire will do Flame Sphere. Earth will do Gaia Strike. And Dark will do Meteor. Uh, there are some training dummies. You might remember we fought that like way back in like video 2. Uh, the human one in the Black Market in the Wine Cellar. There's also one in the Workers Restroom in the Wine Cellar. There's a beast dummy in the dark tunnel in the abandoned mines B1. Uh, there is a undead in the hall of sworn revenge in the catacombs. A ghost in from boy to hero for the city walls. A lizard men in the boys training room in the city walls south. A phantom the ghost run in city walls north. And there's an evil training dummy in garms walk in the town center east. 
There is. We mentioned a super duper great sword, the Rude Blade. It's very, very rare. There's another very, very rare weapon we can get by fighting the, um, <sighs> Minotaur Zombie. So there's that to keep in mind. Um, let's see. What do we need? Creatures in each room vary depending on your strength and power. This trick relies on keeping yourself weak in order to find a wholly different and unexpected kind of occupant. The key is to enter the rooms of the Iron Maiden on less than 150 hit points. Instead of Lich Lords or Ogre Lords, you'll find Last Crusaders. And what's special about them is they're packing Damascus weapons, including the Dineslaff and Pinaka, Rompia Blades, and the Excalibur. Holy Win Rude Blade that Guildenstern wields in the last battle. Fight the Crusaders for long enough and you'll start winning these items, as well as superior gems and spiral hilt grips attached to them. Even if you don't win a weapon, you might pick up some useful elixirs. Uh, this recommendation is to get all the way through to the Judgment Crossroads in B3. Reduce your health by fighting either the Lich Lords in the treasure rooms. Um, or using break arts, go back through to B2, enter the Tormentum Insomniae in low health, and instead of that Ogre and Ogre Lord, we'll find a Last Crusader. Keep stepping between the two rooms. The Rude Blade is given about about as rarely as the Minotaur's Hand of Light, so you won't get hold of one easily. Make sure you have space for the whole weapon, blade, grip, and two gems, as I'm not sure the game likes giving away the special prize as disassembled components. If you're still getting nowhere, try different killing methods rather than doing the same thing on the same hit locations each time. Uh, if you want to venture further back into B2 uh, by starting as far as B3, uh, you get a well-placed place to heal and uh, get what you came for. The Rude Blade also possesses some unusual combination properties. Place it in the first slot to do blades, and as long as the weapon you add to it is sufficiently powerful, you'll produce a second weapon in Damascus while retaining its design. So if you have a really low or a high level dagger and you mix it with this fancy schmancy greatsword, you'll get that dagger in Damascus. And then there is a prize list for what you get depending on where you fight and your uh, strength. Getting the Minotaur's Club. Good news. You can win it and pretty soon in the game. On the other hand, you might fight the same battle for hours and turn up zilch. It's possible to get it on your first fight, according to some, but it's very rare. I'm going to save. We're not doing anything, but just in case. Uh, if you don't succeed on the first go, and there, then there are several places to try later, the weapon itself is the Hand of Light, and you'll already appreciate both its range and strength potential from being on the business end of it. There are subtle differences in the weapon assemblage that you'll win, though, depending on where you win it. You can win the Hand of Light from the regular old Minotaur in the Time Challenge. Uh, you can keep going in and out and in and out and in and out. You'll get an Iron Hand of Light with a Zekin Grip. The Minotaur Zombie will drop it. Uh, you can go back to the Black Market in the Catacombs. He will give you a Hagane plus a Runkasile Grip. And the Minotaur Lord in the Temple is also a recurring enemy, which of the Silver Key you can go keep going back and forth and back and forth fighting him. He will give you a Hagane plus the same grip as the Minotaur Zombie plus a Titan Malachite Gem. Quite apart from its comically huge and unwieldy experience, the Hand of Light has some bizarre properties like the Rude Blade. It's a metal converter. Place it in the second slot. Stick any other item in the first slot. You'll produce the first item in the same metal as the Hand of Light, whether it be Iron or Hagane. In reverse, there are some alternate combinations possible that result in existing weapon type, and it doesn't seem possible to make a Damascus Hand of Light. So that big friggin' mace the Minotaur uses, you can win one. You like that kind of thing? I don't. I'm gonna go do the Iron Maiden again and finish up those time trial rooms off screen. Thanks for watching. Uh, next time we'll do the uh, Guildenstern fight one more time, I guess. Later. Oh no, next time. God hands. Yeah.